We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I'm Mohseti here from Kukula Tech and thanks for tuning in. My guest today is Christopher M. Banefo, the founder of OxyZen. I'm speaking with him today about his exciting climate change platform. Sure. Um, I think one thing to realize is the fundamental issue. Right now, if you take all the forests and the terrestrial carbon sinks in the world, combine all of them and ask yourself the question, how much CO2 are they absorbing compared to the overall emissions of human activity? It's only 30%, 30%. About 30 to 40% goes into the ocean and whatever cannot be absorbed by the planet remains in the atmosphere. So that's the situation, 30%. The United Nations has made the laudable declaration of reducing CO2 emissions by 2050 by 50 percent. That in itself is not going to solve the issue. Why? Because if you reduce it to 50 percent, but you can only absorb 30 percent, you still have a delta of 20, which goes into the ocean, continuing the acidification, etc. So what we need to do is to, as we are reducing emissions, we must increase the capacity to absorb CO2. And somewhere along the line, hopefully we will achieve that balance. So that is the overall goal. The question is, how do you create an incentive for people to increase their CO2 absorption capacity? Mm -hmm. And so this is basically what Oxygen does. By taking the emission trading scheme, which has a lot of areas that, that need to be improved, and taking it to the next level. The next level meaning it includes the carbon sinks that already exist, which is a big differential to the emission trading scheme. The emission trading scheme today has an estimated annual volume of business of roughly 200 billion US dollars, 200 billion. If we as Oxygen achieve half a percent half a percent of the market share, we're already having a transaction volume of 1 billion US dollars a year. So I'm saying this to give you a ma an understanding of the magnitude of what we are talking about. And so what we are doing is introducing a platform using blockchain technology that directly links a CO2 emitter with a CO2 converter. No middlemen, directly. Every CO2 converter has been assessed, their carbon absorption capacity has been assessed using scientific metrics, uh, peer-reviewed, and for that we work with the ETH, with the Swiss Federal Technical University in Zurich, particularly with the Crowther Lab, which is linked into a global network of researchers, etc. So we're using the latest uh, peer-reviewed scientific methods, one global metric that can be applied using satellite uh, technology. So the way to invest or, or different ways of, of, in, of investing. So one way of investing is to invest in the payment token that will be used on that platform on an exclusive basis. It's called a, a KUI. The maximum amount that will be created at any given time is 500 million. But as I said, the if we only get half a percent of the markets, we are already on the billion mark level. And so given the fact that only 30% can absorb 100%, it means that there's an over, re, the, the supply and the demand is totally in our favor. Um, we also have the ability for strategic investors to invest in the form of equity. Mm -hmm. And the strategic investor has to prove to us what is it that makes you strategic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we classify the ECA, the, the, the early contributors of the payment token, um, which is going to be launched this 
well, I think next month. Then we have the early investors who can participate in the company and the strategic investors who get a, a, a privileged position in the company. Mm -hmm. So those are effectively the three ways mm -hmm. of investing in the company. Right. No, you are investing in effectively a trading platform, a trading mechanism that links the converter with the emitter. Right. And, and so it is the, it's like investing in Google, okay? It's investing in a, a platform that is driven by blockchain uh, technology, which on itself is going to create an ecosystem of different business models that then will be able to participate in the platform. Okay. And so the platform is, is, is really the building block of an ecosystem that will be driven by the need for transparency for CO2 absorption. Christopher will be joining us at the Black Forest Tech Investment Symposium in Gutach, Germany on the 12th and 13th of September, where he'll be presenting his project. So do join us, come and meet Christopher and find out more about his project. See you in Germany. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>